Hi, I'm Jessica Smith with Exercise TV, and this is the 10-10-10 Fat Burning Formula for Beginners. It's a great routine to start out with if you're new to weight training or returning after a long break. Here's what I want you to grab. One lighter dumbbell and one heavier dumbbell. So you're going to be working your arms, shoulders, and abs with the lighter one, and a heavier one will hit those legs, chest, and back. I'm using fives and eights today. Now, we've got 10 exercises that will hit your entire body, 10 reps, so we really fatigue those muscles with our heavy weights, and 10 seconds to breathe in between. Let's start with our first move. It's our warm-up move. You're going to come down for two, into a squat, and then come up and tap that toe and reach. Take it down, take it up and reach. Good, that was one. Come down, reach it up. Sit back into your hips, push, good. And lower, and lift. Take your time here. I really want you to control that path of motion. Lower and up. Beautiful. Sit back in those hips. Go as low as you comfortably can. Take it down. Halfway. This is number five coming up. Sit back into your hips. Squeeze to the legs. Keep those abs nice and tight. Six. Good. Lift. Come on. I want to see energy all the way from your fingers to your toes. Seven. Reach and tap. Long lines. Down. Come up. Good. Come on. We're almost there. Give me eight. Lift. Sit back. Watch those knees. Keep them behind the big toes. And nine. Beautiful. Good. You feeling the body warming up? I thought so. Last time. Side to side. Down. Reach and tap it long. One more. Good. Okay, 10 second breather. I want you to go ahead and grab your heavy weight, carefully picking it up. One and a half leg squat here. Standing on one leg, you're gonna tap your toe right at the middle of that foot. Standing tall, getting ready to dig in. Abs in, here we go. Take it down for two. Hold for two. Now give me a slow stand. Up, two, three, four. Good, lower. Hold and squeeze. Now I want you to power down through your heel as you stand. Beautiful, we're going at this nice slow tempo so you can really focus on your form. You don't have to think too much about what your feet are doing, what your arms are doing. Sit back, only concentrating on how that muscle feels. Up, good, do it again. This is number five, you're halfway to that perfect 10. Stand it tall, up, great job. Do it again, sit back in those hips. Hold and squeeze, now push through that heel. Come on, stand it strong. Beautiful. Now you should be getting tired here if you're using the right amount of weight. We're getting close to the finish. Yes, this is number eight. That's how you know if you're using enough weight. If you feel like if you keep going, you can probably handle more weight. Beautiful. Come on, sit back in those hips. Hold and squeeze. Now power up, push. Good. This is number 10. Let's go. Down. Hold and squeeze it. Now stand through the heel. You're going to go right to the other side. Are you ready? Switch it out. Down. Hold and squeeze. Come up strong. Good. Now we're changing tempo here. You're going to come down. You hold that contraction and then you're slowly coming up. So really emphasizing come out of that movement. Why are we doing that? Studies have shown that that's where most of the work happens through your muscle. So we really want to put more emphasis into that period. Good. There is a method to the madness, I promise. Stand tall. Yes, beautiful. You're at your halfway point. Sit back. Squeeze it. Stand through that heel. Come on, power down. Great job. Stay with me. This would be exactly what I'd have you doing if you were my personal training client right now. Good. Stay there. Down. Remember, the more muscle that you have on your body, the greater your fat burning potential. That's what we're concentrating on today. Hold and squeeze. Push through that heel, come on. Great job, you got it. Come on, are you getting tired? I know, but we're almost done. And we'll give those legs a rest. Up. Last time, do it strong. Hold and squeeze, push through that heel, come on, control. Great effort. Okay, go back to your lighter weights, catch your breath. Shoulder press. Wide feet, abs in tight, you're coming up. One, two, hold the contraction. 
Come down for four. Good, again, I don't wanna see your body move at all. Abs in tight. Float that weight to the floor. Good, come on, brace the spine with your abdominals. Squeeze it, now come down, super slow. Control, feel that muscle. Aha, uh -huh. take it up, push. Hold and squeeze, float it down. Good, again, take it up, halfway, beautiful. Up and hold, float it down. Put your mind into that muscle. Feel that shoulder inside out. Squeeze, floating it down. Four, three, two, one. Do it again. How's your breathing? Don't forget about the breath. It's so important. We gotta fuel the muscles for all the effort they're putting into this. Push up, squeeze, float it down. Great job. Come on, stay here. Yeah, are your muscles shaking a little bit? That's a good sign. That means you're working it hard. Number 10, then we go right to the other side. Up. Hold and squeeze. Come on down. Get ready to switch quickly. Change it out. Other side. Let's go. Up. Squeeze to that shoulder. Float it down. Good. Nice. Just keep your mind clear. Just focus on that movement, controlling your path of motion. Try not to let that to-do list pop back into your brain here. Up, good. I find that slow tempo training is really a great metaphor for life too. So often we just wanna hurry up and get things done. Sometimes we lose some of the benefits doing that way. So I want you to slow it down, maximize your effort. Hold, come on now, yes. You look fantastic, I can't believe you're a beginner. Up, hold and squeeze, float it down, good. Come on, how are we doing? This is number seven. Are you getting tired? Hold and squeeze. Come down. That's why we only do 10. I want you to be tired by number seven. Eight. Hold and squeeze. Come down. Great job. Come on, stay with me with a smile on your face. Hold. That works muscles too, you know. Number 10, finish up your shoulders. Great job. Float it down way to work it. Okay, let's go back to that heavier weight because we're going to go into the back now. Abs in tight. And I want you to come back to that wide stance. Flat back. Let's do it. Coming up. One, two. Now squeeze at the top. Float that weight down. Resisting gravity. Good. Now I want you to check in with your neck here. Make sure you're looking at the floor. You're not stressing your neck. Keep it long and in line with the spine. Again, let me see that control path of motion. Squeezing through that muscle. You got this. Great job. Now, sometimes it's really important to train one side of your body at a time. That's what we're doing here today. Because we all have a dominant side that we use and we favor. It takes over for that weaker one. We want to make sure you're developing a strong and balanced body. Hold and squeeze. Calm down, lower. Good. Come on, stay with me. Pull through your back. Hold and squeeze. Come down. Yes, we're almost done. I know you can feel it. Come on, this is eight. Hold and squeeze. Float it down all the way. Beautiful, we're about to switch sides. Up, squeeze, float it down. Come on, let's hit that perfect 10 right here. Pull, squeeze. You're gonna switch quickly at the bottom. Let's go right to the other side. Take it up. One, two, hold and squeeze. Yes, I don't know about you, but I'm sweating here. We got that internal furnace burning with that muscle. Pull down, good. Now, a lot of people ask me, should I just go ahead and start off with cardio if my goal is weight loss? No, you wanna add weight training in there too, because muscle is the quickest way to burn calories around the clock. Pound of muscle burns up to 50 calories at rest during the day. Beautiful, come on, this is your halfway point. Number six right here, up. Hold and squeeze, float it down. Come on, you're a champ, let's do it all the way through. Up, squeeze it. Yeah, you can't rush through it, I know, it makes it harder. Don't just jump to the finish. Pull, hold, float it down. Yes, come on, feel it, feel it, breathe, up. Squeeze. 
squeeze. You got that control. Come down. Hit that 10. Let's go up. Squeeze. Float it all the way down. Yes, fantastic. Okay, catching the breath. I want you to go back to your lighter weight. Switch it out. And now we're gonna work the arms. Wide stance again with the feet. Palm up. Let's do a bicep curl. So you're gonna come up for two. I want you to squeeze at the top. Now float that weight all the way down. Really controlled here. Shoulders back. Your whole body is awake and alive, even though we're targeting that bicep right here through the front of the arm. Good. Now at the top, I really wanna see you squeeze through that muscle. Really feel it contract. Come down. Good, do it again, coming up. One, two, hold and squeeze. Now float it down, you're resisting gravity all the way down here, really sculpting those arms. Hold, come on down, nice and slow. Great job, do it again, coming up. Hold at the top, now float it down with control. Good. Now this slow tempo training is also really good for your joints. Sometimes when you're lifting heavy and you go at a faster pace, it can put a lot of stress and strain on your joints and ligaments. So that's why we're going at that slower tempo today. Good, do it again. Hold and squeeze at the top, up. Power up through that bicep, let me see, like Popeye. Good, one more here, then we're gonna go right to the other side. Hold and squeeze, come on down, keep that energy through the entire body, and let's switch. Other arm coming up. Power up and hold, good. Lower down, float it down. Yes, again, remember we're emphasizing that lowering phase because that's where most of the work is happening through that muscle. Again, picking it up. Hold and squeeze, coming down. Now, if you can get to the point where you get through all 10 reps with great form and you've still got more energy left in that muscle, I want you to increase your weight. You know if something's too heavy, if you're starting to have to throw it around to move it. Come down. Great job, come on, stay with me here. We want those biceps to be nice and even. Come down. Good, again, how are those abdominals doing? Are you keeping them pulled into your back? Don't let the rest of the body go to sleep just because you're targeting that bicep. Again, pull it up. Hold it, float it down. Nice and slow and controlled. Beautiful, nice work, keep it up. Hold it, come on down. Yeah, we're ready to hit that magic number 10. Let's do it. Come up, hold, come on down, nice and slow. Good, okay, taking our breather to transition, now we're gonna work the backs of the arms, the triceps. Coming down to the knees, if that's uncomfortable, find a seated cross-legged position. You're gonna brace your elbow, come up, hold it at the top, now float it down for four, good. Now, especially if you're starting out, this can be a tough move for the triceps. I want you to really focus on keeping your elbow in close to your head so you're not stressing that elbow joint. Good, come up, hold and squeeze, lower down with control, resist that gravity. Good, abs are in tight here too. I wanna see a nice tall spine through your back and lower. Good, again, come on, take it up. Hold that elbow in place. Slowly lower, come down. Great job. Push it up, lift. Hold, float it down. Beautiful, good, come on, feel it. I want you to feel that back of the arm really getting strong and tight. So you're gonna look fantastic in your tank top. Do it again, push it up. Hold, float it all the way down, nice and full. Good, do it again, take it up. Please and lower, come down. Get ready to give me a transition after this one. Up, hold and squeeze, coming down for four. We're gonna go right to the other arm. Switching it out, position that elbow. Other side, let's do it, coming up. Hold and squeeze, good, coming down, lower. Again, take it up, lift, good, excellent. Come on, stay in the moment. I know there's not a lot going on here today. Maybe this isn't quite so entertaining for your mind, but it's kind of like eating your vegetables, right? We don't always like to do it, but it's good for us. I really want you to concentrate on your form. Concentrate on building that strong fat burning muscle. 
hold, now float it down, slow, beautiful. Stay with me, you're doing great. Hold and squeeze, lower down, float it. Good, abs in tight, don't lose it here. Up. Good, come on down, four counts, lower it. Again, take it up, breathe. Yeah, they're getting tired, I know, I feel it too, that's a good thing. Almost there, come on, take it up, lift. Let's finish those arms. Take it down, control it. Hit that 10 for me, let me see it. Up, hold, floating down, way to work. Good, let's move on to the chest. So switch out to your heavier weight. We're gonna come back onto our back, knees bent, feet flat, elbow out to the side. You're gonna push up to a chest press right over the chest. Now float it down, really slow and controlled. Again, now at the bottom, make sure that your elbow stays off the ground. I don't want you resting at any point. Stop it just before you touch that floor. Again, squeeze to that chest, come down. Good, now checking on your form here, make sure at the top of that press, that weight is directly over your chest. We don't want it over the shoulder. Do it again, push it up, press. Now squeeze through that chest. Coming down, nice and slow and controlled. Again, push up. Squeeze through that muscle, float it down. Good, come on, stay in the zone. Left. Excellent, come down. Great job. Again, how's the form? Press it up, hold and squeeze it. Now float it down. You're looking so good. Stay with me here. Up, hold, come down. You got one more on this side. Let's do it. Up, squeeze, hold, float it down. Beautiful, go ahead and switch it out. Changing the arm. Let's go, come up. One, two, hold and squeeze, lower down. Good, now for me, my left side is my weaker side because I actually write with my right hand. So that's gonna be my dominant side. You may find that's the same case for you. That's why we're breaking it down, one side at a time, so you can really train it evenly. Up, hold and squeeze, float it down. Good, do it again, come on, up, hold and squeeze. I know, those muscles are getting challenged. I feel it too. Lift, up and hold, come down. Don't touch the floor with that elbow. Again, lift, hold and squeeze, and lower. Good, you're looking so great. Come on, stay with it, push it up. Hold, float it down, four, three, two, one, again, where's that weight landing? Is it over your chest? That's where we want it. Good. Come on, last one. Hold and squeeze, float it down. All right, go ahead and set that weight down. Let's come up from here onto the knees, grabbing that lighter weight. You got a kneeling figure eight. So we're gonna come out making a figure eight with that dumbbell. Abs are in tight. Good, this is three, nice and big, four. Remember, if it's too much on your knees at any point, you just sit back, good, six. Abs in, bracing that spine, eight. Come on, you're almost there. And last time, good. Keep that lighter weight, let's go ahead and finish up your abdominals. Sitting back, knees bent, hinging back so you really feel those abs engage. You're gonna come up, reach, tap. A little bit faster tempo here. Up. Five. Good. Seven. Last one. Good, okay, last move for our abdominals. Coming down, legs are up. I want you to reach towards your toes, lifting your hips and your shoulders off the floor. Looks like this, we're gonna come up. One, two, and down. Now, if this is too much with the weight, you can do it with just your body weight. Whatever is gonna challenge you the most. Breathe it out. Lift, 
Good. Come on, halfway. Give me five more, just like that, five. Come down, lifting our hips and shoulders. Six, lower, seven, eight. Beautiful, come on, finish it up. Nine, and last one, let's go, reach, and come down. Great job, just release those legs, touch your weight off to the side. Rock yourself up to a seated position. Fantastic work. That was the 10-10-10 fat burning formula for beginners and you did an excellent job. I'm Jessica Smith with Exercise TV. New workouts are added every month. Download and work out today at exercisetv.tv studio.